So today I will show you how to create this chart in Power BI. It is not as difficult as it looks. So let's jump into Power BI and see how it goes. The first thing we will do is we will add a cluster column chart, put in the month and add the sales for this year. And we will add a year filter, change it to a drop down and put it to 2021. And also remove here the blanks. So. And the next step, we will change the title. So we will create a new measure. And we will name it title. It's the format. The sum of sales. To a whole number. So we go to the settings, to the title, the FX field value, and select the title. But I do not like that already, so I will go back here and format it in K. Much better. Change the font to the Go UI and make it bigger. And make it bold. Then we create a subtitle. For the subtitle, we need the past year change. So we create a new measure and we cut the year over year change in percentage. And we say this is the uh, UI, the sales this year minus the sales past year divided by the sales past year. Click return. And now we can add a new measure, the subtitle. It's a format, the year over year change into presented plus plus format, the average of the actual year, minus one. So we need a here one more. And we will format it also into a whole number. Press return, go to the chart. Go to general title, subtitle, turn it on to the FX, the field value, and choose the subtitle. But as I do not like the format yet, we go back to the subtitle and we change this to a plus for the plus and add this for the minus. So it will be shown as plus 22% now, which I'm okay with. Then I go to the chart. Go to the settings, to the Y axis, turn off the title. Do this also for the Y axis. But we keep the values and we will turn off also the grid lines. So now we are much closer to what we wanted. And now we will add a conditional formatting, but first we need to find out the color for the bad one. So we will go here and choose the color. We will add a new measure and we will call it color good. Oh no, we have the color for the bad values, so we will call it color bad. So this is the color for the bad ones. And for the neutral ones, we will keep, um, let's say a gray. So we will add a new measure. So this is the gray one. And now we will add a conditional formatting. We will say zero is CF 
the brush, it's an if. If the sales of the current year is smaller or equal to the sales past year, then we will take the color bed and otherwise we will take the color and otherwise we will take the color neutral. So we add this into the chart. We will click here on field value and we will choose this one. So now you can see most of the balls are gray and only one got an orange color. And we can check that now when we add the error bars. So we go to the analytics tab, go to the error bars, enable them. And the upper bound will always be the past year sales as we only want to have one line. We go to the markers and we increase the size. So now you already see the indicator for the past year. And you also see that the most of the years have increased. So now we are nearly done. What we need to add now is the line for the dots below. So now we will add a constant line here. We will go for summarize the all of the calendar. We'll add the month and the month one chart. Go for an add columns and add the sales. It's the sum of the sales. We will put this in a little bit. Add here a max of this table for the sum of sales. And we'll multiply it by 1.2. So we will drag this line in. And now you can see a constant line, but we will increase this a little bit. Click here. Go to the secondary axis. So we have to turn this off. And now you can already see that you have a constant line above all the other values. We do not want to have the line, so we go to the line, go to the color and put this to transparent, go to the markers, turn them on, we choose the shape which is perfect and here you can change the color so we go for an orange. What you could also see now is that we have a marker above all columns but we only want to have them for the bad ones so we will we'll have to add something to our line. We go back to the line and we will say if the sum of this year is smaller or equal to the sum of past years then we want to have this max if this is not the case we want to have a blank return so now you can see we added the wrong ones so we will go back here and we will say if it is smaller than and now we have the right ones so if you want we can add a second dot axis now so we will copy this we will go to new measure put it in and add the good then we will say if it is greater we will put it in here and we can give it another color so we can go to the lines, choose the series, go to the color and you can give it a green if you want, which is also nice. What we will do now is we will turn off the legend and we will turn on the data labels 
but we will turn off the secondary access as we do not want to have these values. Then we go back to the data labels. For the sum of sales, we will turn them off. For the line with the dots, we will keep them. But not the background. And for the line of the good ones, we will also keep them. So what you can see here now is that we only have written the sales, the so maximum sales multiplied by the sector. But we want to have the change here over here. So you go to the value, go here, and you choose the year over year change. Go to display units none. Value decimals, and we have to format this to percentage with, let's say, one. And you can also make it italic. Then we will do the same for the bad ones. Let's go to the value, we'll change the year over year change. We'll go to num and go to one and here we have the ah so we're here so now we go here go to general make this bigger go also to the subtitle adjust it and now you can see the finished chart so i hope you liked the tutorial and you were able to follow it easily please don't forget to leave a like Hope to see you on the channel soon and wish you a great day now. So bye bye.